PJs, welcome back to another video. Before we get started, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe down below to become part of my PJ squad, which is always awesome. As I'm making this video, we are 11 subscribers away from hitting our 1000 subscriber goal, which is so like crazy. I remember starting this channel and just how much we've grown is so awesome. So if you guys know anyone who likes slime videos and is not subscribed to me and isn't part of my PJ squad, let them know that we are almost at that goal. Also let them know of the thousand subscriber giveaway so that they can enter it as well. And of course, once I hit a thousand, that will be ending and I will be recording who wins. So that's exciting as well. I also looked at my YouTube analytics just to see who's been watching, how much you guys have been watching, things like that. And the analytics sh um, have shown that 51% of the people that watch me are not subscribed. So if I could get those 51% of people to subscribe and become part of my PJ squad, I promise you will not regret it. We are so nice and welcoming and I'm doing my best to post videos all the time so that you guys are entertained and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So today I am doing a review for Slimes by HB and they opened their shop probably not too long ago but as far as I know they haven't gotten any orders on their Etsy shop. Um, but yeah, they wanted me to review them, so that's what this video is about. I'm so excited. I actually got to watch them package my slimes, which was actually really cool to watch. I haven't seen anyone, like, package my slime stuff before, but this was sent to me. I did not buy this, but... Um, I just wanted to put that out there, but I will link their shop and their YouTube down below because they just started a YouTube channel as well, and that's where I got to see them package the order, which is really, really cool, so I just wanted to mention those few things. So first, they sent this little notepad that has um, the signs that are in the packaging and then of course a thank you and how to contact them if there are any complications or anything like that and then how to find them which is awesome they also sent a thank you note in this card which is so cute thank you for sending that and then here are the extras in this sandwich bag as most of you know i don't particularly like candy extras so this is right down my alley So here are the extras that were in the bag. The only thing I will say, um, it looks like this pencil has been used because there's lead here and then of course the eraser has been used. Just, I would just say just for um, professional reasons and hygiene and things like that, just don't send things that you have used. Um, if you can't send a lot of extras, that's okay. Just as long as you can send pretty much the essentials. But I just wanted to mention that. But they also sent some envelope seals, this scripture, like, little booklet thing, which is actually really, really cool. And this, like, notepad, which is really cool. And <laughs> the um, little note that's on the top, I think that's awesome. But thank you so much for the extras. One thing I will say, it is very important. Like I say, for anyone who doesn't send borax, it is very important to send borax or some type of activator. That way, if the slimes melt and the buyer does not have the borax that they need, they're not out of a slime. So I will mention that. But other than that, and then the pencil, the extras were very nice. So here are the slimes. These containers obviously aren't the best in the world, but they are definitely great, especially for when you are starting out your slime shop and you don't have a lot of money to put into it. And yeah, so like there's like these type of deli containers and then there's the really cheap ones, but these are the nice ones that actually like snap on. So that's really nice, but I will say nothing cracked or leaked, which is also really good. It did come in a bubble mailer, which is great, but if just for the future, if you happen to send them in a box or something that doesn't have bubble wrap on the outside, it would be great to wrap them that way they don't crack and there aren't any complications, so you don't have to resend the slimes or refund the order or anything like that. So with the first slime, I will say all of them are, of course, in this container. They have the name of the slime at the top and then their logo, which is great. I will say when I was looking at some of the slimes, there are some hairs that I can see in them. 
just from not even opening them yet and there are some in the other slimes so just from that i would say having a clean surface when you are making slime or activating slime things like that i would make sure that your surfaces are clean and everything you're adding into the slime is clean as well so this is the first slime and this is called fruity swirl it does to my surprise um, smell very like light like banana and it actually smells really good so I like that but a few things besides the hair that I found as you could see it's not really filled at all now on the website there isn't like a lot of indication of like sizes and stuff and I think the last time I checked they only had one slime on there so I didn't see these so if they are supposed to be the eight ounces like these containers are this is more like four or five ounces so you're missing probably about half the slime so if you could just fill it I mean, you don't even have to fill it to the very top. If you just fill it to around this line here, that would be great. So the slime itself is very nice, besides finding a few hairs in it and sometimes it leaves residue on your hands, which is probably because this is more like a vibrant, dark um, yellow color, so that's probably why usually vibrant colors will, for some reason, leave residue on your hands. I'm not exactly sure why, but it was pretty nice. I do wish that it was, of course, filled to the line that it's supposed to be at because, you know, if you're paying for an 8 ounce, and you get around a four to five ounce, that's kind of, you know, half, pretty much half of what you were supposed to get and what you paid for. So besides that, it's actually a pretty nice slime. I did have to activate it a little, so it was kind of sticky, but not too bad. So that's great as well. But I, of course, if they didn't have borax, they're kind of left with a sticky slime. So you can kind of see why borax or some type of activator is great to send in the packages and kind of needed, if that makes sense. But overall, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5 just because of the fill line thing happening and the hairs. This next slime is called Baja Blast, and it has got so many glitters in it. And I love this pinkish color that it has. I'm not really sure how to describe that. I don't know if it's like pink with red or hot pink, <laughs> um, but it's a really pretty color. So same with the last one. This is kind of underfilled as well. Not as much, but it still is. So of course I would recommend filling it to the top like the last one. So as you can see, I have gotten glitters all over my hand. So just from experience, I've put like a lot of glitters in slime. And while it is pretty, it does have a few back draws. One of them being you get glitter everywhere and it's not exactly fun to play with anymore. And the other is that it could take away from the stretchiness. So it's probably hard to see on here, but it'll like the more you stretch it kind of like a store-bought slime, the stiffer it gets until it just rips. But it is a very nice slime. I can't really tell if it's scented. It kind of smells sweet, but I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if it's if, like the lotion they added or if there is scent. I'm not exactly sure because it is very, very light, but it does smell really good. I love the color and it is a very nice slime just with the glitter and the um, not it like it not being filled to the top. I'm also going to give this one a four out of five. Still a very nice slime. Just I would say cut back on the glitter. This last slime is called Sunflower Field, and I think that is a very beautiful, like, slime name. But this one also has the, def like, um, 
fill problem that the other two had. Not as bad as the first one, but still could use more slime. Of course, like I said, like a lot, <laughs> especially if it um, is supposed to be a eight ounce. And if it's supposed to be less than that, this would be more okay, I guess. But I would still recommend getting containers that will fit the sign so that you don't have a bunch of room so that the person buying isn't number one confused or number two have to have more room to store their signs. So this slime overall is very nice. Some of like the little heart sequins don't want to stay in the slime. And that's probably because this is more on the thin side. And like thin slimes can be really nice, very cooky. But you can't add too much to it because they just like nothing wants to stay in it for some reason. But this is really cute. I love the heart sequins. And it's got some purple micro glitter in it. Some fishbowl beads. Like the last one, it has a very light scent. But I'm not sure if it's supposed to be scented or not but it is a very nice slime so besides it needing to be filled more to the top I think it is very nice and I'm going to give this one like a 4.5 out of 5. So with that, that is the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed. For the slime shop, obviously I said I would link it down below if you guys would like to check it out. I think it is worth checking out. These slimes are very nice and I love the names of the slimes. Like, they're so creative. But for some, um, I guess, advice if you would like to hear, I would definitely fill these slimes more so that people get what they are paying for. Send some activator preferably borax depending on you know what you activate your slimes with but I would just send that because I did have to activate these two slimes here so for people that buy it they might be out of a slime after a while because they did arrive kind of sticky and then the other thing that I would recommend would be to kind of figure out what can be added to what type of slime because this one had too many glitters and this one was a little too thin to have sequins and things in that. So if this one became like a thick slime, I think that it would hold this, the um, add-ins a lot better and I think it would actually fit the theme of the slime. And then of course if you took like a lot of glitter out of this one, this, that one would be great as well. But other than that, is this is a very nice nice slime shop so well done I definitely enjoyed unboxing this but if you guys have any suggestions anything you'd like to say to me down below let me know if you have anybody that will would want to become part of my PJ squad let them know as well we are so close to the 1000 goal I'm like shaking I'm so excited you guys but with that I am signing off and I will see you guys in the next video